Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. There we go. I'm just gonna hand it off the controller here real quick. Nintendo. Nintendo. This is a Nintendo game. Too it is. We've come to understand fear as I have. Bam. Are you spooked yet? Yeah, too bad they died. Alright, let me know if this is a good volume for you guys. Oh, look at that creepy man standing there. I wonder if he realized. Too scary. Why oh, is too scary? Meat man. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know. Oh, there's maggots. Blech. Blech. IPs and Nintendo's forgotten shit. Yeah. It's funny how they acknowledged it in Smash Ultimate, but they haven't done anything about it. I like how that showed practically nothing about what this game really has in store for you. Like, there's some games like Silent Hill that actually like practically spoils a good portion of the game for you. This is not. Just make sure I got this going on right here. Can I get... Mmm, stereo around. Let's go. It's all Mario, Pokemon, Zelda, and Kirby. Yeah, and then just a little bit of Metroid because they gotta get those people thirsty for it. Tell the theme always shook me when I was a little kid. Yeah, that's understandable. Okay. Spooky. Metroid Prime 4 win, right? Okay, so thanks to... Flesh. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Then how'd you write this? This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless, their time once again near. Whether by Too fate real. or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta do this. Uh-huh. Hey there.
remember me? Oh, it's that time. Uh, hello? Miss Alexandra Roybus? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Damn, you managed to just have the money to do that? Who requiem my sanity? Oh no. Ah, Miss Roybus, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. <laughs> Damn. What a mess. Miss Roybus is... That your grandfather, <laughs> Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. He slipped on a lot of ketchup. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Two weeks later. <laughs> Two weeks later and nothing. Um, I did want to say that the guy was like literally just sipping on his coffee as she's just like grossing the fuck out. <laughs> the guy's just like resident sleeper. Uh, also not gonna lie, when I thought he said there's no head, I just wanted to do the the Kappa emote. But yeah. Shocked by your grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the, the truth. She decides to search the mansion, a place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly tied to his murderer, it would be here. No head. Okay, glad to know that the turn axis isn't as quick. Uh, portraits of the ancestor of Roy this month. Hello? Jesus, I was just trying to read here. Portraits of the ancestor of Roy this line the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. Edge? Please! Can you not? There's something about each of one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. A beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. With the time permanently set to 3.33, there is a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should Alex look at the key? Alex picks up the desk clock and pulls out the key from it. However, there's something odd about the key. It isn't for winding it at all. It looks like a dresser key. <gasps> a dresser key. Now, why did it take these guys two weeks to... It took two weeks and it took her five seconds to look at this and be like, hmm, there's a key here. Really hope he sees the bait one that fakes game over. Oh, yeah. 
Portraits of the ancestral. Oh, yeah. What happened? Something cooking? Hello? Okay, nothing seems to be up about the fire. Okay, but her head is like looking towards it, so. doesn't want to interact with the thing. Who let this for unintended? Also, what a door, too. It took, these guys spent two weeks in here, but they looked at this door and be like, Oh, no, it's, it's totally a normal door. Gee, I wonder. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of a lock. Clerk sigils carved into the wood above a wide slope. The white slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I need to stop punching things. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I think Kotia was possessing me. Grand piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Fortunately, Edward never really lived up to the description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. Shame. There seems to be something of note here. At least that's what her head is telling me. The illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. These appear to be some sort of sign Can you not? There appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. Uh, it's... It's the basic three starters, and the... Can you not? I am trying to play a game chat. Uh... So, fire beats grass, grass beats water, water beats fire. Okay, got it. And then purple. Yeah, purple is just, it's the legendary starter. Wait, can I actually, like, head back out here? Call the mansion beckons to Alex, drawing her back to uncover the family secret it hides. Secret... Er, Alex will not leave until she has learned what has happened to her grandfather. Yeah, fair enough. It's Pikachu! Purple beats everything. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Uh, I'll assume I know what that's doing. Oh, okay, I see. I have no idea what to do with that yet, and I don't think I have what, I, what it needs. A brass framed mirror is set into the wall. The mirror's direction can be adjusted by means of two crankshafts set below it. A curious device. Is it related to the telescope in some way? Should I ask adjust the mirror? don't know. I, there doesn't seem to be a reflection yet, so it doesn't seem to make any point. Can I not look at this? Okay. Uh, I'm probably missing something here. This room confused me so much when I first played it. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> In the warm glow of candlelight, the Royfus family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flutter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, family secrets are revealed. Uh, it, yeah, there's apparently they wanted to draw the family tree, but also wanted to draw a guy hanging from it, too. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can I? Oh, oh. 
Hold on. <laughs> what is this swoosh? What is this swoosh? What is with her arm? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything about it. What's this? These books contain the history of the Rivas family, genealogy, birth and death records, deeds and writs. The Rivas? Oh. oh god, maybe I should have got that coffee too. The Rivas history is a troubled one as Mediterranean immigrants, the early Rivas were. Chat, please! Were shunned by other settlers in North America. Suspected of witchcraft, the Roivas were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Roivas rebuilt their lives. Chat, please! And I guess they cleaned up the body, too. Chat, please! Books in the corner seem to focus on the supernatural, the writings of Poe, Lovecraft, and poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch, everything was... <laughs> Two weeks later. She got that stinky. <laughs> yeah, she does got that stinky. Everything with a tie to the ethereal horror or fantasy. It is all here. Reference library to the arcane. Is this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Ah, yes. Lovecraft. The... The, the racist, <laughs> the sexist, the racist, um, yeah. What, what, is there something about it that needs to be shown? Okay, whatever, I guess nothing needs to be seen about it. I, I guess nothing needs to be mentioned when you go mad you become racist, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's probably very, very true. Okay, here we go. This living grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost part patriarchal air. Use left or right to adjust the clock hands. Should Alex adjust the clock hands? Yes. Chat, please! Correct. It's supposed to be three thirty-three, right? Or maybe I just need to go around the world here. Around the world, around the world. Okay, let's try this again now. Okay, there we go. Either I was off by like a pixel before, or I actually had to go around and do it. Also, ooh, secret. Also, I just realized that she's died blonde. She's not even natural. So look at all this fancy stuff. Small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate, matching the etchings on the table of the wall's illustration. The candles are unlit. Interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, no, I wanted to look at the sword, not the... Okay. Highlighted book. Yeah, imagine if you... If there was, like, a key item of interest or something in reality. Like, say, this Bowser plushie that's next to me. It's not mine. And uh, it just started to highlight. <laughs> like, glow and highlights. A diabolic drawing of a stack of human bodies. <laughs> Each one cemented into place. What twisted psyche could have executed this drawing? Though disturbing, it is meticulously rendered down to the subtlest detail. The precise anatomy of fractured bones and convolutions of spines and ribs entwined into a mesmerizing sight. Um... What twisted psyche like could have executed this drawing? Well, clearly you haven't seen the human mind. Can I, can I please have sword? Ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above the fireplace mantle. Another token of eclectic junk. <gasps> yes, gladius. 
Can I do this? Hey! This function allows the manipulation of inventory items within the current room. Equip. This function allows the current character to ready a weapon. This function allows the examination of objects within the inventory. Pressing L or R, claw switching back and forth between sections within the interface. Ah, yeah, like save. Oh, I can. Oh, I can also do this. Nice. Appears to be a key. Second floor key. Oh god, I'm gonna be stabbing into a lot of things now. Just to highlight pizza, Kia. This is a bizarre drawing of a Cyclopean city. Cyclopean? Cyclopean? It's immense architecture bathed in an unnatural fog. The detail is incredible. As Ax studies it, she can almost imagine the city's inhabitants. That so she just has a creative mind. That's a painting of a jungle shrouded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia. Perhaps from Thailand or Cambodia. This looks like some kind of mask. Uh, that's one hell of a mask. The face is serene and composure. A faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes closed in deep meditation. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's just poggers. That's just poggers. This is God, the cathedral is silhouetted against the stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violet feeling, as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. Oh, jeez. Hey, thank you, Tiger, for the sub. Oh, you're. Look at you, 47 months on a 9 month streak. Thank you. A grim picture, indeed. A grim picture. An aged page set inside a glass frame hangs on the wall. A insane scribbling covers the page, incomprehensible to Alex. Perhaps if Alex had some kind of tome, it could be deciphered. Uh... Yeah, about that. I'm just gonna run around the mansion now with a uh, sword in hand. I'm gonna relive my days as a... Ch Shut up! Uh, gonna relive my days as a child, holding like a stick in hand and being like, I'm the next hero of time. Let me pose in the backyard and start making moaning sounds as if I'm being hit like in Soul Calibur. That is something I actually did. Oh yeah. No, that's fine. Shush. Key comes apart in the lock. Key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. That's very specific. That's because I did play Soul Calibur 2 as a kid and I was really into the game. So I thought, man, what if I had my own weapon style? What if I had my what if I had my own character selection? Shit like that, you know. I did a lot in games of pretend as a kid. I was the only one willing to lose. Damn, look at you. Being a chat as a kid, accepting the idea of losing as a kid. All right, I think I can. I think it's the only thing I can do right now. A large leather-bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read the book? Uh, I don't know. Should I? of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. 
to think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality, to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Consovondine? Facusatis aquae suma. Uh, no, I had not. Et animus eorum confirma. Hubna huis dia sit modo prima multarum. Si inceptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Volo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Okay. Our enemies did not have a chance. Then they start translating. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders, but if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. Oh, very sprawly. Oh, okay. Stonehenge. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Nani the fuck? Eve. The dice on the floor is finally crafted, laid with golden gems that Pius can't identify. Strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Oh, yeah. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Melee time, baby. Wow, he can't even swing his sword fast enough for like five seconds and then gets tired. Wait, he gets so tired. Oh, come on. Finally, it's into the dank heart of the tank, uh, heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks behind me, yet Pius's courageous resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Uh, I got nowhere else to go. From where I thought Pius got disintegrated, I was like, whoa. But it's just a charred body. Ooh, a black. Oh, hi there. Hello? Oh, it's a little heavy. Yeah, I bet it is. life energy. Every time a character takes damage, the level will get lower. When it reaches zero, the character will die. Oh, 
But he's like, oh, where'd my head go? There we go. That is not Twitch friendly. They mean sleep. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna sleep forever. Oh, 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 it's kind of funny. Like the way, like his head just, yeah. A strange granite block lies on the floor. You picked up a Glock? A Glock? A Glock? <laughs> you picked up a Glock. Yup. <laughs> Pius in 36 BC picks up a Glock. secretly has some tea right now. <laughs> yeah, let's kill some demons. The old gods? Let's reject them. <laughs> Strange granite block. <laughs> Chris on the platform picked up another block. <laughs> this time it's greed. <laughs> oh, god damn it. A strange granite block lies on the floor. Here's another block. This time it's blue. Oh, jeez. Okay. Right, maybe I'll just... Really? calls the enemy slurs. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's psychic damage. I also like it's cutting words, but it's bullet form. See where they're going. I guess I'll just finish them off. All right. Uh, examine. This wall is permanently decorated with strange lines symbol carved into the granite. Cut into the wall is a square hole lined with scratches as though something has been removed from it. Gee, I wonder. The purple Glock is actually a taser. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I like this. Alright, let's, let's grab up the purple Glock. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, let's add the purple one. Now use the red one. And you. doesn't seem to be. Huh. The walls have disco fever. I'd love to see a cure in centering an armor picking up a Glock in the desert. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, hello, 
Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. By pressing R, you'll enable Pius to select which target to attack. Releasing R slightly and then pressing it again will cycle between multiple targets. Oh! Pius can attack specific body parts while locked onto an enemy by moving. Yep. Attack the head. Yep. Destroying a statue of myself. Wait, why is that tutorial now? It's because I picked up on the body part targeting way too soon, apparently. Oh, she's high. Attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. Bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Should I push the button? Push it! Why do I feel like Pius is about to accidentally unleash demons? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, is he, are these doors here? Oh, I thought these were doors. Oh well. <laughs> Step into the yellow. Okay, here we go. Okay, so if it doesn't come to a surprise, I know a good lot of this game. There might be a few things I do forget about, but I do get the gist of this game. Now, I asked about this... Yeah, no, he'll just release the ancient piss phrase. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to say this. Um, I did ask earlier which one to pick before, and like, what sort of like method, but eventually I realized that the asking about it kind of did confuse me around a bit, because uh, the answers I got were, I don't know if they were answers really, so I just left it to one person to ask me, or uh, to answer for me. So we're going to be starting with this, an effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from dark green armor, hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. Should I just clean the artifact? Uh, actually, make sure I did get this right first. Uh, just make sure. Yep, okay. I did remember this. We are, in fact, picking green. I think the one you chose is what you face, I think. It is. He's a bacon man, too. Oh. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zelatoth, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Well, she's like, what the fuck did I just read? Hey, the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Strangely, with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in her possession, Alex can read the page. It is a chapter page from the Tome itself. Should Alex take the chapter page? 
Max found the chapter page entitled The Binding of the Corpse God. <laughs> uh, great. Wait, is this a... Hold on. Okay. Interesting title, not ominous at all. It's just like... Map. Or menu, please. Being a little freaky there. Uh, give me a moment real quick. Okay. Uh, I do like how this map is actually- oh, jeez. I actually do like how well detailed this map is. can't access that fourth skull yet but uh here actually before we get to this one um uh, to honor the i think there was a time where i was given an opportunity to take two shots and i didn't take them because i didn't have booze at the time so i'm going to take them now Before we, get, before we continue, because, you know, liquid courage and all, you know? <laughs> Two shots of vodka? I thought you were worried for my health every time I take shots on stream, sweetie. And here you are. Doing that. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Cheers, indeed. Alright, here we go. Here's another two. This is just a sound. It is just a sound. Just like that's a sound. Well, it's just a meme, but you know, yeah. Oh. Sheesh. It's been a while since I've taken so many shots in one go like that. Oh. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, Ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. Yeah. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Yeah, don't you like that Kotio corpse god? Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity. Look, okay, just will chilling be here, reading a book. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. bone. Uh? You have a great monument here, Mantarok. Oh. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness. Oh, I heard that part gone. Chaos and damn beast. 
No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Oh. Uh, oh, that's nasty. can keep me amused there has to be something to do around here damn girl i only wish something that fantastic and a higher purpose could happen to me oh careful what you wish for girl oh great look at that she is now defenseless short sword with a wooden grip light and durable a small curve running from the handle makes it Better for hacking rather than stabbing. Alright, let's see. Alright, so she can't really go too hammy with it. Time for a higher purpose, right? Oh, look at this again. This is the starters. Triangular design is carved into the floor. The edge grooves are filled with colored sand. The symbols appear to be related to each other, with one having precedence over another. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to. A statue of a goddess, delicately sculptured or sculpted from sandstone, it casts an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple. This, there is a strange necklace about its neck. Should Alaya take the necklace from the statue? Sure. Oh. Can we use to heal Alaya? Make sure that Alaya does not move when cast the spell. Okay. Well, uh, looks like I kind of need to get it back. Yep, there we go. Look at that! Actually, here, let's see. Oh, her health is small. Damn. Oh, she could actually go this way. Uh, I'll go this way. Oh, God. That's a lot of dead bodies. Great on the floor is a striking design featuring the sun sinking below the edge of the world. Uh huh. The sign on the, sign on the wall appears to depict a time of the day. Perhaps the candles do too. That's definitely a good way to. Oh no. Oh great. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. It's kind of creeping around, avoiding traps. Walk into one? Uh, I'd rather not. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ugh. When located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter and the character to full screen. Beware, sanity loses. Sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Oh, okay, thank you. Blue Meat Man. Yeah, Sandy Meter. This meter represents a character's sanity. Every time he or she meets a monster, his or her sanity will get lower. The lower the sanity meter gets, the, most, the more the character will hallucinate. If 
Performing finishing move on a creature would cover Sandy. There we go. If you like to see more effects, refrain from finishing off each one. I feel like Sandy is more like they Temsies. Engraved on the floor is a striking sign featuring a brightly burning sun. Ah, I see. The sign of the wall appears to depict a time of day. Perhaps the candles do too. Press X, Y, or to extinguish one of the candles. Uh, I'd say... Nope. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh... Okay, so that worked. Bronze necklace sits atop a clay urn. Uh, is this one magical too? No, it's not. Welcome to the chat room. What? Uh, they do love the sound of almost anything happening. Yeah. Just gonna creep around, not stepping on anything. Because I'm not an idiot, and I know that spells my doom. Ah, shit. Getting quick on the draw there, I'm liking it. Okay, it looks like that's fine though. Hey, how's it going? There is a monster in fighting in this game, but you need to cut their heads first. Oh, if you're overwhelmed, the basic combo attack is aiming. No, aiming has knockback. Oh, okay. How you been? I'm doing pretty well. I'll take that. And I will offer this. That's like the, yeah. Looks like this is fine as well. Yeah. Ooh. That was really close. Oh, snap again. Oh, this one's red. Oh shit, you're a little faster there. Spanky with the sword. Oh god, your limbs grow back. Uh. Oh, now I see what your whole shtick is. I don't like that. Hey, health zombie. Yeah, that, that was like a regenerator. <laughs> Look at that mid walk pose. Blue get to keep phantom limbs. Ah, uh, yeah. I wonder. Wait, what did the green one do? Do they just like sap more sanity? Uh, I 
actually hold on, hold on a second. I'm gonna check. Okay, that's what I thought. Constant sandy sap. Gotcha. They shine from their eyes and stuff, Sandy. Right. Small pedestal covered with a decorative etching stand before the wall. A gold gun upon it must have some special significance for it to be the focal point of this display. Should I take a blow gun? Yeah, sure. Must have hurt. Oh, and the sword's broken Secret too. Passage in the temple. Uh, uh. Oh shit! Safe guy. Oh fuck. Uh. Yep. Okay. Do I have that many darts to use? Hold on. Wow, I really do. That's actually kind of crazy. Guard is grateful for Elias saving his life. In return, he offers to repair Elias' broken weapon as a gesture of thanks. Do you want to repair Elias' short sword? Sure. Also, question how the fuck did you get down here, too? Okay, oh he uses Mantarok. Side has been repaired. Uh, thank you. Guy resumes his duty, seemingly no worse for wear for his recent brush with death. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, I'll accept that. The darkness is coming. It is not safe to save right now. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's probably why. I stepped on something. Oh god. Okay. I'm fine now. Oh great. Uh, hello? Ugh. Okay. Wait, do I have to beat them both up hard enough to be like, now they both finish off? Logan's poison. Oh, is it? Show up in the Logan propels a poison dart. Oh. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. There is a hole in the device as though something can be inserted. Perhaps a key or a lever. Uh, let's see. Anything else in here? Uh, there's this whole thing. It's limited ammo, so be careful choosing to finish off enemies with it. True, you're right.
Okay. Just run. That was pretty close, not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Yeah, go at it. this whole thing about or is it this thing okay we have to pick some one of the ancient Khmer deities be tortured and killed by a skilled demon oh yeah there it is sheesh flesh flesh Oh, jeez, uh, speaking of, hey there. Uh, mm, great. Stop. Don't go near it. Reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Atrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. And she's just like, wait, what? Oof. A little too late for her. You are one of the chosen many. Flesh and blood. Uh. It is now your destiny to fight the eternal darkness. Uh. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantarok's hearts. The essence of a corpse god. To some it is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. Oh. Guard it well. <laughs> Okay, bye there. <laughs> she just takes it. She doesn't really have much to say. She did have much to say. Mel Stab is held by the arms of the statue. Okay, I guess I'll pick that up. Ah, great. Let's let's look at Mantarok in all his glory. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. Eyes and yep, eyes and muzz, yep. And uh, oh, I oh for a moment I thought I could like walk on him for a moment. I was like, oh god, no. Oh yeah, we can, we can now see him in this view too. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, because if I really wanted to. The statue of a human female bears witness to the monstrosity that fills the room. The porous stone of its body is covered with the effluvial grime that Mantarok has secreted over the years. Yeah, effluvial. 
I remember there was a man, well no, he's still alive, so I, I shouldn't say there was. Uh, there is a man who uh, really loves the word of Fluvial. He's a very short and stout man. A door of formidable size seals the vault. Style is designed resembling the creature that dwells within the room. It's carved into the stone. Okay, so then... Uh... Check it. Ah, okay. Is anything on this side? Same thing? Yeah, the same thing. Alright. Get by, Mantarok. Alright, here we go. Time to go back. Oh god. Ah, shit. Okay, oh, I'm just getting sight here. Oh, is it not giving me as much back, or am I just being silly here? No, actually, I got all my sandy back. I'm good. Reminds me of the TR fire room. I don't know what you mean by that. Wait, why is she looking at something over there? Is she looking at girl? Do you want it all back, though? I mean, yeah. No. Oh god, she's getting wrecked here. Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna... No, she needs this. Okay, I sh <laughs> yeah, I got knocked around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Trick Turga. Alright, now let's not trip on everything like before. Okay. Mikuchi. Alright, we're Gucci. Okay. Oh god, what is it this time? Oh god, her sandy was going low there. Please and thank you, I'm just going to... ...keep backing me up and smacking my sword into everything. Oh, <laughs> uh, great. Okay, I think here we go. Oh, now I have to go back. Oh, great. Uh, Alright. Alright, here we go. Let's hope I can do this again. Uh. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so those traps set off there. Just going to ignore all that. And sadly that's happening again. Ow! Fuck. Just a little bit. 
Uh, I'll just use one more. Okay, there you go. Uh, for a moment I was like, oh shit, I just moved an inch. Alright, looks like I'm fine though. Hi, Mantarok. Bye, Mantarok. Damn, your sprinting is worse than mine. What you talking about? What? Why are you grabbing Where me? Where is it? I don't know. Why are you asking I me? Will not ask again, child. I don't know. I don't know you. Very well then. That's not your purse. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. Look, <laughs> she's got strip tasered. I like how he slightly looks off the, the distance after he does that. As if thinking, yeah, I did that. Uh, okay. Pelvic staff. Yeah, I thought it was like a pelvis. Uh, okay, small shrine. There we go. Cool, what is it? Correct sequence of candles being lit. A hidden panel opens. There is a message tube inside. Alex found a message tube. Nice. What's in the tube? Antique leather bound message tube. The kind used to transport sealed messages to scrolls. Just to be unopened, there might be something inside. Should Alex open it? I don't see why not. Alex found a chapter page entitled Suspicions of Conspiracy. Oh joy. What? Pargon. Your presence is welcome, Majesty. As always, I am honored. And I. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. Oh, the eye. Lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Chaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark. The others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. And much you never will. Be oh. certain to retrieve Mandarok's essence. It is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard-pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. The flashbang. 
After the page is removed, the message tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. Yep, she just drops it just like that, pretty much. Uh, um, wait. My own sanity is dipped into as well. Oh shit. Um, great. I'm just gonna save real quick. She read it in her sanity port. Let it drop. I. <laughs> I mean, I yes, keep it low. I you say that. I mean, granted, this is the reason why you did want me to pick green or pick a uh, Chaturga. Why not Chaturga? Uh, Zelatoth. Zelatoth, right? Yeah, because Uliath is blue. I know that for sure. Chaturga is red and. Uh, Mantarok is purple, so that leaves Zelatov. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll let the Sandy go down a little bit this time around. Speaking of Sandy, though, real quick, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one single shot this time. As we dip into this. If your sanity ain't hurting your more body, are you even living? I mean my sanity is already doing enough as it is with life as it is. I think we can all agree that our sanity hurts because of the daily life. <laughs> Unless you're like Elon Musk. And he only concerns himself with uh, how people go about their daily life and decides that, mm, I don't like that. Do something that I prefer you doing. But where are my hallucinations? I'm pretty sure you guys will get your hallucinations soon. Alright, let's go. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Hanc mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. Oh. Okay. He's like, well, that's suspicious. Why his eyes only? Maybe I should read it. Sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Cancer spell. <laughs> Cancer spell. <laughs> Wait, Godium Cancerosa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Message scrolls like this were often used to transfer messages securely. This one has a strange diagram on it consisting of a pentagonal shape with strange letters at each corner. Uh, one of them even says emitter. When Anthony had opened up the scroll, something strange happened. That something had been intended for the Emperor Charlemagne. Suspecting a plot against the Emperor, Anthony pledged that he would warn Charlemagne at all costs. Harley, you gave me cancer. How could you? Also, if you got that reference I just made a moment ago, congratulations, you get a cookie. After Anthony briefly describes his mission, the monk informs that Charlemagne was last seen in audience with the bishop in the visiting chamber. 
Yeah, we play classic games, yeah. Anthony's presence is questioned by the monks, feeling that he has trespassed upon sacred ground. The monk seems rather subdued, perhaps out of respect, or perhaps out of fear. Visibly disturbed with grief, 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 and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts that his that this is not the only death to have occurred recently, and wonders if perhaps the order is being punished for a wavering in faith. The monk cordially greets Anthony. However, he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order. Who fell from the tower to his death. His tongue is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if indeed that is the truth. The funeral casket made from unfinished wood it is not properly sealed and could probably be opened. Should Anthony open the casket? Uh, let's not yet and say we didn't. The monk informs Anthony that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop so that the funeral rites may begin. There is much grieving to do, since this is, not only, this is not the only recent death among the order. Oh, oh, wait, there's one more I can talk to. This one over here. Oh, never mind, guess not. Also, hey, Fiery, how's it going? This. Both the voices I've made for them. Beside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. I, I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. Could you? I'm doing actually pretty well right now. I'm, I'm five shots of fireball in. I'm not gonna lie. The way that the sound is muffled and everything, it makes me think that Liam O'Brien is in there. Please, please. I think you cannot leave yet. Surely, I mean, must be warned of the conspiracy against him. Oh, excuse me. Uh... Nanny, the fuck? <laughs> Hello there. What is going on? Uh, uh Alaya. Oh, hey, I, I, I've seen you. Oh, Pius, uh, okay, glad to know you're gone. Oh, hold the fuck up. Am I stepping on people's faces? Oh, yeah, I sure am. Oh, that's... Oh, that's gnarly. And, uh... Yeah, well, let's say that there's another context that could be had here. What <laughs> appears to be a leathery hand lies in a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the tongue of Trump Marcus, please let this end. I can hardly hear myself think. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, hey there. This is the Tome of Eternal Darkness, where experienced spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. It has been made from fragments of human skin and bone, and endowed with magical powers. Great. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I like how... So, watch this. You see the Tome? It comes up to you, right? It just does that. But then once you say, I'm done looking at this thing, it flips out. <laughs> Uh, hey there. This monk is hard at work and does not wish to be disturbed. Good. Okay. Somewhat addled by Anthony's distraction, the monk kindly requests to be left alone. Uh, can I have that thing there? It's glowing. It clearly means it's important to me. Okay, guess not. What's this? A blue urn rests upon the shelf. Uh... Okay. Fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing itself into fragments as it hits the floor. 
if they picked up a broken blue urn. If he has found a magical rune. Oh, hey. Nice. Ah, there it is. Runes are the key element in creating spells by collecting and combining runes in different ways. Different spells can be created. Spells are magical incantations that enhances a character's natural abilities. Magic. Magic. Spell this is an inventory of all the spell information that has been acquired. It will allow the player to select which spells to cast, examine, or assign to convenience quick spell buttons. Selecting this will allow the player to experiment with new with rune combinations and discover new spells. This section is an inventory of all the components of magical spells you have acquired. With this function, the player can review their current assignment of spells to the quick spell buttons. I think it does not have enough components to attempt to research spells at this time. Yeah, I kind of need at least three, I think. Magic. Building an array of books and tomes sorted neatly on a set of shelves. Mostly books of a religious nature, they sit upon a skein of dust as if no one has touched them. Bothering area, yeah. Can I, can I steal this real quick? He reaches out for the medallion, but the monk says that it is a venerable artifact required for his research and should not be touched. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess. What's in here, I guess? Oh my god, what is oh, it? Oh, oh. This is devil's work. We devil's work! The fuck you happened to him? What we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here, take this for your protection. Oh. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Right, can you give me the bishop key then? He, he's in the next room over. You can just let me inside. He, he's in there. Anthony has acquired a scrum sax. Scrum sax. Scrum sax. Scrum sax. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty fucking gnarly. Apparently, inside the casket, Anthony sees the body of a monk. That was a sound. Yeah, the Skalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
Anthony has acquired a circle of power. Oh, right. I also need the actual circle of power to do the thing, too. Right. Circles of power describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The amount of more points within that circle, the stronger the spell will be. Right. I, okay. I will say, though, that, um... Uh... Once I started realizing, or not realizing, but once I remembered that this game existed and I wanted to play it on stream, I remember the whole meme about Paragon. And not gonna lie, I actually might start, I might actually get my hands on a shirt that just shows the sign Paragon just for shits and giggles. Looks at tomes and manuscripts. A book brings attention to itself. Oh, dude, he doesn't look as uh, lively as before. He is noticeably more pale. Well, okay, thank you. I guess I didn't need to see your face anymore. I guess. Are they pristine on the dusty shelf? It doesn't quite belong. Should Anthony move the book? Okay. I like that it was, there was actually an animation there. Oh, hey, uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, it looks pretty good. Oh, damn, his sandy is fucking gnarly. Can I have that? Oh yeah, that's right, he does the sick fucking move where he just drops the sword on him. That's right. Okay, alright, let me <laughs> let me explain this. Okay, has anyone seen my Bodeworks or my Bodeland videos? Like when I streamed them real quick? Hey, a fucking sick ass finisher, right? So, have you ever noticed that I ever like tried to drop a bladed weapon? onto them like onto a downed uh enemy because it because of this guy right here this fucking chad has like imprinted 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 yes i have i literally picked up the the method of just dropping the weapon onto a downed enemy like that. <laughs> Imprinted on it. Yes. <laughs> I I picked up that method because of this guy. This guy, this fucking Chad insult to injury. <laughs> it pretty much is. There we go. Alright. Here, I wonder. Here, you know what? You you guys want me to let my sanity be drained here? Uh, I have a lot of sanity to be drained, so let's go a little nuts with it. Also, not gonna lie, holy shit, this guy's health and sanity is fucking nuts. This guy's a tank. Here being drained? No, shush. It's okay. <laughs> want that sandy drain reminds me of Ed him brightly there you go let's see how wow his sandy is not even drained that much imagine having sandy right oh damn his eyes too Oh, <laughs> the guys are like, okay, I'll accept this. Thanks. Oh, oh 
my god, I was so close to killing him. <laughs> oh my god! Grateful for his life, the monkey tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn, which is apparently in green text. There was no way to tell that this was in green text <laughs> unless this was in a written format <laughs> from the baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop, who was brandishing a large way. When he was confronted by the bishop who was brandishing a large blade and whose eyes burned up with an evil fire, frightened the monk dropped the earth. The, 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 the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop had left behind. With thanks, he gives the bishop's sword to Anthony. Oh, damn! Okay, I'll take that. Ooh, damn! Heavy single-handed sword. Do, don't fucking kid with me. That is not... That is not a sword you use with a single hand. It's commonly known as a basset sword or hand and a half sword with the length of the hilt. Or for the length of the hilt. Which can fit in one hand with the support for the other. Or with the other for support. Okay. Yeah, it is a... It is a beast of a weapon, which is why I'm surprised this guy's going to be using it with a single hand. Look at this fucking Chad. This guy's carrying around this sword with a... F okay, there we go. He's actually singing, swinging with two hands. Yo, know, Medieval Times had a lot of free time. True. I bet there were a lot more... Uh, a lot more... A lot more physically fit, too. This area is dark and it is difficult to make out any detail. Perhaps if An Anthony had a light source, like this one, he has acquired a piece of a broken urn. A lot more tree up to. Oh, jeez. Anthony has acquired a piece of a broken green urn. This function allows the player to combine two or more items for the inventory into one. Oh, hey, mix. Anthony has assembled two-thirds of a broken green urn. Medieval farmer, when you explain Bitcoin to him. <laughs> Anthony has acquired a piece of a broken urn. There we go, we got a whole broken green urn now. How's it going, my dude? The monk ambles around nervously as if half expecting the demonic bishop to return at any moment. Wait, hold on. Okay. That urn not gonna hold ashes. It sure ain't. Oh, hey, another one. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to ask you a question in the form of... Magomore. Is that what it says? A carved stone tablet lies on the floor. It's part of magical codex. Ruins cannot be understood without a codex. Without a codex, ruins in your possession will remain a mystery. Oh. Oh, that's a bitch. Oh, okay, stretch. All right, all right, all right, I'll stretch, I'll stretch. It'll hold piss. What do you mean to hold piss? It's broken. Okay. Uh, stretchy. Stretch. Uh, okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, though thankfully you can mash ruins together with a touch of Paragon. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I got like literally the Chris, the the, the symbol of Christ, but sideways. This thing. Magamore. I discovered a spell. I've discovered a spell? Oh hey, look at that! It turned out that it was supposed to repair an item, and I didn't fucking know until now. 
Magic meter. Oh, hey, there it is. This meter represents a character's magical energy. When a spell is cast, the level will get lower. This meter regenerates whenever the caster, the character is in motion. What? In motion? Really? Oh shit, yeah, wow, okay. That's really good. <laughs> Move your body freely. So get running here. Uh, don't worry. Can't just stand around and regenerate, apparently. Guys, we're prepared. Cool. Sweet. Piss the cancer. Oh god, he like looks like he aged 50 years now. It's the cancer. <laughs> he just fucking slapped the guy's torso off. <laughs> so it's just sit, yep. Uh, yep, yeah, that's cool, Yoth. Alright. Hey, let's, hey, what's up, guy? Alright, here we go. Oh, how does the bastard port sword swing with no aim? Oh, hey, there. Oh, look at that blood! I, I didn't know there was blood coming off the walls there. Look at that. Damn. Okay. Uh, red urn sits beside a fountain. And he's picked up a filled red urn. I think I can use that now. Urn has been glazed with a deep red shellac. Giving it the sheen of a bloody heart recently torn from its host body. I mean, that's a that's a description to give the color red. Jeez, as a strange sigil on its side is filled with a foul-smelling fluid. I, uh, is it a fluvial? Strange addition of a monstrous devil is contorted to what appears to be a fountain. What seeming liquid is this draining into the pool? Drinking from a scum encrusted spout. <laughs> Dunking the urn into the foul smelling fountain, it becomes filled to the brim with a rank fluid. It is a lot heavier now and rife with fetter. Are we just. Is this just sewage water? Is it just sewage water? It's just. Is it just filled with shit? I heard that. Nice. Actually, here, you know what? I'm just gonna... Save real quick. There you go. All right, let's see. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna dab on your body. Oh, hey, uh, thank you for showing me a secret. I wonder what this is. Antorbar. Or Antorok? Antorbok? What you, what you mean, Willis? Ruins. Magamore. Antorbok. Project. Ah. Uh, project item? Amongst the 
books on the table rest an ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. No. Enchant item. Ah, oh, enchant item. This allows the player to cast spells that have been found or researched. Selecting the these allows players to assign their most use spells to a button. This will enable the casting of spells without having to choose them from the book each time. Through the function, this player can examine the contents of each spell scroll that has been fired. To examine spell scroll, press A. A torn scroll illustrated with a geometric symbol is accompanied by a small note. The note reads, That which is broken shall be fixed, that which is dull shall be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. This spell is required as the Antrobok or Magamor ruins. Press say to assign to a button. Oh. Spells can be cast directly from this book section or assigned to one of the five quick spell slots. Press on one of the quick spell buttons. Illustrated will assign the spell to that button. Allowing the casting of spells without retracing these steps, select a button to assign the quick spell to. Ah, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Can I do it to a weapon? Yo! Nice! Ooh, look at that glowy! Look at the glow! I'm, I'm blessed with blue. Come with arcane artifacts and text. This table reflects it with the unholy presence within the church, a seething pit of antiquity and evil. The bishop passed through the sacred door. Oh, that was the bishop? Oh, you looked like another Joe Schmo. There has to be a way to get through it. What is this? Uh, okay. Alright. What do you mean I can't use it? The urn appears to sit correctly in place on the presence or the pressure plate. It does not appear to be heavy enough to depress it. Although the urn appears okay. Well there you go. Apparently three urns is enough to weigh of a man. Bishop? Hello there. So, you have come oh. to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. What? What you talking about, Wiz? Oh no! No, no, no hickeys! Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god, this guy's nuts! Oh my god, the guy's still standing! What the fuck? No, no hickeys! Get out of here! Thank you! Oh lord! Nah, fuck you, Bishop. Get out of here! Trying to a girl that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before making walked its valleys. No, I don't want the bishop to come on to me like that. No, not this one. Deb. Come on. Come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? Come on, what you got? Come on. Come on, get up. Get up. I just fucking dare you. Oh god, fucking tell me. I just got a Genshin Yuck Whack ad. Oh, Jesus. That's terrible. 
Oh no, the cancer! The cancer! Oh, I look nasty! Oh, oh god! Oh, I look so nasty! Why don't you finish them off? Because I was asked to specifically let my sandy drain, so I'm doing it. I'm letting it happen. Yeah, no, I'm not looking good at all. Oh, he looks so fucking gnarly. Hello? Uh, hello there. Help you? The fuck are you about? What are you doing? Take this, I guess. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's, he's okay. Uh. Uh. The trapper dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast, and humans are subjected to odd phenomena. The portal cycle from colored to color as time progresses and only the quick will escape. Uh Take this one. What's got what's Okay, so yeah, okay, if I pick the the thing, it'll help me heal that thing. Okay, good. Good to know. Cool. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense every sound very well. If I think you can speak past them. They won't be trouble. Enough they have heals, but also some fucking things can be there. Yeah. The fuck is that sound? Uh, hello? What? Uh. Upside down. Hi there. All right, let's have a healthy amount of uh, healthy amount of sanity, shall we? Ow. This level can you probably finish some yeah yeah because I'm pretty sure I'm being a little insane here damn this guy's a fucking Chad though he's a tank oh hey there dude how, how you doing okay bye don't mind me that I'm nearly like a walking corpse here Oh no, the cancer! Speaking of... Oh god, he looks so bad! Oh, he is not looking good for or worse for wear. I don't know. He, he's just looking terrible. Uh... 
But hello? Stompies? Oh. Oh, jeez. Can you die with Sandy? Uh, if you lose Sandy, your health also is the next thing that goes. Oh, jeez. Speaking of... Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, that, that works. <laughs> Let me just... <coughs> get some of that back, thank you. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh... Oh my head! What the fuck? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing them, end them. To die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end. Oh. Well, I'm glad I got it. Is it really happening? Well then. Uh, hello? Some of that sanity back. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, hey, Charlemagne, please open up. It's it's me, the bishop. Oh fuck, he's already dead. Ugh, the cancer. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Zealot. Oh, 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 well then. Zealot! Closes off just like that. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> what the fuck did I just read there? Oh yeah, that's right. I can do that thing now. Uh right. Uh hey. No, this one. Thank you, Ulioth. Whispering, oh my god. What? Hello? Pretty much. Here's the enemy I was talking of. Wait, that was the one? That one? Sweet painting of a luscious mountain valley. Delicately rendered in oils, time has taken its toll on the surface, which is soiled with dirt. Wait, wait, what? Scratches. Okay. Uh, 
Hey there. That's not weird. Okay. Yes, hello, what? Okay. 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 Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, ghosty. <laughs> the fuck? It's Jesus, okay. Stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden. Notice even with the faint light of the setting sun. Maiden clasps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a strange feeling, almost as if it is magical and not really there. A glowing field of energy protects the window. <laughs> okay, good to know. I'm just gonna leave it be now. The wallpaper in the section of the hallway is oddly marred, so the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Okay. Then what? Too dark in here to do anything. Perhaps the circuit has been broken. Okay, guess I'll just look around here. In here. Chapter page has been nicely stashed behind the frame of the painting. Should I also the chapter page? Oh, hey! Another one! Oh great, another one. Uh, musty aroma hangs in the air and a layer of fine dust lies on the surface of the room. Seems as if no one's been here for a long time. It's almost like a museum. Why do I have ammo now? I don't even have a gun. Get a gun then. Yeah, I guess. Hold on. I have a dresser key. Two chest of drawers are a dresser. But to a gun I don't have. Next question is the presence of a lush landscape amidst these other morbid pieces. Could it be that a single ray of hope encircled by the encroaching darkness? Uh, one of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. In its place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. Looks like there's something there, but it's not. I just found a page of the journal from Maximilius Roivus. What's in it? There's a page of Maximilius Roivus' journal. It reads, Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved in the shadows of lies. I learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Okay... Hold on, is there anything else I can look at here? Uh, is there anything I can look here? Okay, I guess not. What? What is it? Kitty! Meow! Meow! 
check the entrance to the house. Oh, check it? Okay. I was just about to start reading another chapter. Oh, let's see. Is it like getting dirtier here? Well, I mentioned Bix and Alex. Yeah. Is it me or like is the rug here getting dirtier? Let's have another let's hit let's do another shoot. Let's do another one. And then we can get on to tired cat a little bit. Just a little bit. So look at that with 20 bullets. Alright. Also look at her having like a lot of sanity and uh mana, but not so much health. It's because she's a girl. Wow. Ditch sanity. That's what I did earlier. Okay. All right, let's do it. Dreams. Dreams. Modern Flesh. psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. Some see to still them as... others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Ooh, we're going of with one that. thing, I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. Where's that? So we're going further back this time. Oh, hey there, it's Aladdin. I have implored you for years, yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams, and I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Kareem. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, oh, that neck. then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. Oh, I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem, and I shall await you. <laughs> that image of her face. I get myself into this time. Ooh, nice. Ancient talisman that has been in Kareem's family for many generations. It's said to bestow long life on those that have kept it. This item can be used to restore health. And chakrams. 
Chakramut was a favored throwing weapon through Central Asia and medieval times. A balanced ring of metal, sometimes beautifully decorated, it would be hurled at an attacker. Heavy chakrams could sever limbs or heads, however, they were not designed to return to the thrower. Yeah, they're not boomerangs. The Toll Wars occurred to play with a heavy chopping edge. Most Toll Wars had a circular hilt and armor, making them easy to recognize. Let's fucking go. Well, hell, give me that one. Callum be sippin'. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he do be Simpson. Oh, hello? Oh, he dead. Man's corpse lies fallen. Wounds cover the exposed flesh of his body where his armor has failed. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, my dude. Let's see, how am I doing? So my sanity and magic isn't doing too well. Like, actually, it's not that low. It's like about medium, but my health is fucking set. Oh, but here we go. Let's just fucking step on faces. Anthony. There's Anthony and Blow Polly. Ugh. Yes, please, let's, let's do this, get out of here. Oh shit. Uh, goodbye. Hello? Is Vaguely resembling a man stands atop of a low pedestal. I guess you can call that a man. Oh, jeez, even more. Oh, another symbol. Let's go, let's go. I, I'm gonna I'm take that. Thank you. All right, let's see. Can we do shit with it right now? Let's do something. Uliath. Uh, whatever this is. And uh, project. No. Okay. Uh, project this. No. Okay. Uliath. Uh, Magomar. This thing. Nothing. All right. Uliath. This thing. Item. No. Okay. I don't know what I can do with it yet. I'll figure it out. Oh, is this a fluvial? An arcane shrine dominates the room. Razors surround its edge, while a larger one atops the summit. No doubt each one would be filled with incense to facilitate prayer to its city's deities. something about it that I don't know who he is, so... Is there another way around, or...? Do you have anything on you? No. 
Uh, guess not. Oh, well, I didn't really want that, but sure, I'll take it. Let me check this real quick. Okay. So there's that. Is there something else I was supposed to grab at some point? Or... Okay, now I can't pick that up anymore. Oh! Okay, well I'm glad I tried that out. Kalima. What's this about? Zelotath. Okay. This one's a very black one. Like a really charged one. Alright, I'll just move on. Okay, so I guess we'll just have uh use this one and then here. Oh Jesus. Thank you. I think I have to. Shh, fuck it. He died. Oh, I see. So that one was a Chaturga. So if I went to Chaturga, I get an enemy like that. Okay. I mean, let's fucking go for it. Not done, son? There we go. Let's claim some of that health that I might have lost and call that a nice little trip. I don't see to notice what else I could grab from that, so guess we'll just continue on. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh! Well, I'm glad I looked. Okay. Well. Another one. And another one. Lying in a pool of cold blood and is a dead soldier. He is the victim of an unseen battle. Perhaps this man died from the claws of the monsters in this place. It's difficult to tell. Uh, don't mind if I take that one from you? A man lies dead, anointed in blood from the ravages of a total war sword. The wounds deep and numerous seek fresh blood. Precise yet powerful. The results of a man's actions not monsters. Should dream Retrieve the Tolwar. Kareem has acquired Tolwar. Kareem can now wield two Tolwars simultaneously. Go, let's fucking do these. Let's go. Let's go.
Oh! Oh, jeez, hi. Oh, God, okay. Ugh! No! No! Get off me! Get the fuck off! Get out of here! Ow. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, no, please, can, can I get out of the quicksand? This isn't really happening. I'm glad he took that like a champ. some of that real quick, thank you. Another dead man. Who are these men? Wait, who were these men whose corpses lit in the dungeon? Unwary soldiers who stumble inside. Or brave robbers looking to plunder it? Crumbled skull lies under the dead man's curled fingers. Oh, recover. Wait a minute. Oh, is that supposed to be- wait... Oh wait, no, that was a different symbol, wasn't it? I don't think I have that yet. Take some of that back, thank you very much. Uh, course skating. Course skating? Barrier blocks Kareem's progress. Its shimmering energies creates a undulating vision of a ruin on, on surface. I guess I don't have that yet. Uh, I'll look around further. Actually, how hurt am I? Uh, just a bit. Oh, jeez! Okay, let's try that again. Thank you. And I'm just going to save now. Good, okay. Oh, hey, there's the H. Oh, God. Actually, like, that actually got me. It kind of took me as a surprise. You have now attained H. Great. Can I please take this? Uh, self. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kill myself again. Thank you. I'm going to do that again. Thank you. Um, do a new spell, Ulyoth. You and you. Hey, I healed my. I can heal myself now. Or not. What? 
What's up? What you looking at? Ooh, more of those. Uh, yeah, let's... Decided to say that yourself, my dude. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Quite essential. Yeah, let's try that. Uh... Oh, wait, no, I don't have Zell Attack though. Wait, can I do with Zell? No, I know I do. Yeah. Can't go back that way. This way instead. Ooh, look at that big weapon. Amnesia. The, a large ram dow broadsword protrudes from a solid pedestal made of stone. It waits its next owner. Should Cream pull out the sword? Yeah, let's fucking go. Oh no, this one's purple. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's chop them in half vertically with but uh, horizontally as well. Let's fucking go. Right, I'm just gonna do a lot of this real quick here. Thank you. Don't mind me. Just gonna reclaim some of that sandy back. Thank you. You're all very, very generous. Except not really. Oh god, there's even more of them. Take some of that back, please. It just is so small. It's so big. It's so... <laughs> oh, and, oh, he's gone already. Great. Oh no, there's even more. Can I please take some back? Thank you. Just a little bit. Uh, no, no hickeys! Please! Get out of here! How am I doing? Uh, I'm doing sort of okay. Is there more of you? Oh, look at this guy! He's got the Zelotath! Oh, fuck. Can I please? Thank you. Sheesh! Are we good now?
Yeah, let's fix up some of that. Damn! Ow! Okay, let's try that now. Uh, recover... Sandy? You are sand and sand. Hey, look at that, and I can now heal myself like that. But I can only seem to... Yeah, there's no real need to peel my magic if that's gonna happen. Glad you didn't get stolen by that enemy. Wait, what do you mean by stolen? Let's try this now. Uh, chance the... Wait, does it want the Ram Dow? Uh, I'm guessing it wants the Ram Dow. Thing that basically ends you right there. Oh shit, really? Okay, um, uh, okay, let's try this instead. Cream can now fight 14 with a toll war in each hand. Um, uh, sorry, one second. Let me just do this again now. Chance. Stealth with the tours. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Use it like a key item, like an idiot. Oh, you son of a bitch! That was a mean trick, you son of a bitch! Oh, oh, no! Okay, good to- Oh, you suck. Oh, you suck. Uh, look at those magic new bodies. Oh god. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just walking around. Oh god, I'm just gonna get away. Well, you're all being really cute right now, okay? Just fuck off. Please, 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 please. The ruby effigy stands upon the pedestal sector in the room. Please, thank you. All right, goodbye. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I don't know what that ruby effigy is for, but I'm running with it. Do I need to go somewhere around here? Oh. Right. You said what? Uh, it doesn't seem like anything here? I don't know. Shush. Why is there no music now? I don't like this. Why is he looking up? 
I don't like the fact that he's doing a lot of things right now that... Okay, there you go. Be a little less unhinged. Uh, I feel like I need to go there. Alright, here. You know what? Fucking take me real quick. Oh god, that was a huge fucking mistake. Holy shit. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> eat shit! <coughs> oh, eat absolute garbage. Telefrag. <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. That was great. Okay, that didn't tell me jack shit, but that was kind of fun. Uh, let's see. I, do I need to go this way now? All I got was the ruby. What else do I need here? I don't think I need to be here? No. Did you do Low Sanity playthrough before, hun? No, I have not. But, like, this is technically my first time actually playing this game. Wait, do I want to go up there, though? That's the thing. Uh... Do I want to go there, though? Like, it looks like there's, like, three things there that I can use. Discord. Okay, so not that. Definitely not that. Okay, so here? Do I go here? Deep Red River. I'm like actually trying to remember what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe I'm supposed to go back up? dead bodies. Goodbye. Oh, wait. I think I know. I think this is what you wanted, right? Do I just leave now? Is that what you wanted? No? I guess I just can't leave. 
Okay, I'm really missing something right now. Yeah, I do. I don't know where to put it, though. Can I replace it? Not that I know of. I'm actually kind of at a loss here. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, sure! made from human skin and bone. A trestle of bones is cradled within this shrine, like a nightmare book stand beckoning to be used. The way forward is blocked and blocked by a rod of iron or colors. There appears to be no visible lock, but there has to be some way of opening it. Let me guess, I'm gonna put the Yep. Keep chopping you guys in half. I'll just do that. I'm going to assume that I'm supposed to do something here. Oh, never mind. I'm not supposed to do. Sh just fight. Just fight. That's it. I guess might as well. Let's go nuts here. Sandy back, please, and thank you. No hickeys! Thank you. Get out of here. Oh no, it's one of you! Oh god, a big one! I guess. Oh my lord, you fast forwarded slightly. Did I? Oh god. Ow, I am fucked. Did 
There we go. Ow, I am fucking hurt. Please let that be the last of it. I am... Wow. Heal? I'm already out of heals. That's all I did. I... Okay. Uh, take this. Shaped like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. Should cream clean the artifact? <laughs> Probably not, but... So much for thinking only of me. I should never have left. I have seen my folly and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. And you really don't look so good anymore. You must forget the past. Damn. Despite who you are now, you will also become something more. Just as I am. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. All right, cue scene. The things I do for love. <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, what that? Hey, yo, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the butte then the boo goes around the earth. <laughs> and she's like, oh fuck, what the fuck did I read? To be continued. Uh. Okay, I mean I guess I was just playing the demo. Oh. This can't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, so what the fuck did I gain from that, though? That's the thing. Uh, I learned how to heal myself. That was it. Oh, wait, no, Zelatath, that's right. Okay, um, you know what? I think that is going to be it for now. Because I've been at this for quite a while now. I've actually been at this for a little over three hours. Um, so I never got the this is a demo scare Well, I mean here you go. Maybe we'll explore all those scares during this playthrough But for now it is going to be it for tonight. Thank you all for coming to the stream and I hope to see you next time when I stream this game, which will most likely be on Monday Yeah, this was awesome. Yeah, I'm honestly I I'm kind of glad that I got around to actually playing this game not gonna look lie have a good night yeah have a good one yeah good night